Hey, cheers everybody from Antique Toys. How's everybody doing? I thought I would give you a sample of cast iron toys, whether we're dealing with a small Hubley, a larger arcade truck, or uh, potentially an arcade car, or a Hubley fire truck. So I think we'll start with smallest. Uh, the first toy ends up being a Hubley. Uh, this particular version has metal wheels. Sometimes they have rubber. Um, it has the traditional squeezed ends of Hubbly, and uh, it's a cop motorcycle. These end up running, I don't know, like 120, 180, depending on condition. Real nice toy to start with. Um, I also recommend starting, let's say, at an AC Williams fire truck. Uh, Nickeled wheels. These this side's real nice. AC Williams also has these pinched ends, slightly different. Um, real good toy to start with. Double pistons, a double pumper fire engine. And then moving a size up, uh, we have a Silver Arrow, which is a great toy by Arcade, produced after a, a Pierce Arrow, Silver Arrow probably about 1932-33 era. Original rubber tires, uh, good looking silver paint for the Silver Arrow. Ironically, they sometimes come in different colors like red. Um, excellent car. And then moving up the food chain, got a good Hubbley uh, fire engine with a sticker on the hood. Integral driver and nickeled wheels, and they tend to break here, or here, or here, or here. This one's all original. There's even the searchlight. Beautiful toy. Uh, and then finally, a popular arcade Model T. Uh, this Model T does have a stress crack right here. It's very faint, but a lot of times when they banged in the, um, the rivet, you squeezed the toy down, and a hundred years later, sometimes those stresses come out in cracks. Uh, it's all held together, but it does have a crack. It also has a replacement wheel, but a real nice driver, nickel driver, and beautiful bed. So I'm gonna give you some close-ups of these and enjoy. Here are the promised close-ups. So this is a Hubbley Cop sitting at about four inches long. Good looking toy, nickel wheels. We then have a good looking AC Williams with most all of its paint. It's sitting at about six inches. Nickeled wheels, integral driver. Uh, as I said, there's a peened end to that right there. And then if you jump up the size scale, you're now at six and three quarter almost seven inches this is the silver arrow pierce arrow with a nickel grill from about 33. beautiful toy and uh usa upside down it'll say arcade and then uh larger yet eight inch and you'll notice they start getting a little bit wider, a little bit taller, and quite beefy. They add double or triple the weight when they go up a few inches. This is an 8-inch Hubbley. Integral driver with the good-looking sticker. And then we jump up to the top dog of size at about 8.5 inches. We have a Model T. And you can see this dot. They're quite possibly was a um, lift in the back to make this a tow truck. But when I look at the bottom, there's actually no nut. So it's, I'd say it's 80% chance this was as issued without the boom. And a lot of times when you see these toys, you look here and here for trouble. Here we're clean. There's usually a little bit of highlighting in gold, which there is. And then 
this is the side with a bit of history, a little bit of crack, uh, but it's beautiful. They did double stripe and then yet another stripe. And then on the tail end, they simulated the toolbox type panels. So enjoy these options for Med Over at Antique Toys. Be sure to hit our like button. Uh, we would very much appreciate your subscription. Uh, also, be sure to click on the link or any links to our products and check out www.antiquetoys.com. Thank you.